In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create glass morphic design in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. You can see here I've put the option one here and I've given this a glass morphic uh, design at the back side and then you can add the title and the detailed text. When I click with a different color option, it comes the option number two, the option number three and then the option number four. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options i have created one more slide where i have just put one color you can see here only blue color so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement. And you can see the small orange point, drag this inside so it becomes fully curved. Alright, so and if you want, you can make it more bigger size as well. And once this is done, I'm going to add uh, one more shape by pressing Ctrl D. Okay, something like this. And this color, you can give... Uh, a gradient fill for this one okay so select the gradient fill and i'm going to use two colors here the one color i'm going to use some dark blue color and you can see here uh, i have made the other one the white color all right so then what you need to do is select that white and increase the transparency something like this can you see here make it more and for this also you need to increase the transparency so it looks something like this all right and for the border either you can remain as it is or you can give the same uh, border go to the line and you can give the gradient outline okay the gradient outline again i'm going to give the two colors so let me just delete the unwanted uh, stops so first stop i'm going to give as blue all right the other color i'm going to give as white okay and then you can change the color i want the blue to come this side all right and then Again, white make it less transparent and the blue also make it somewhat less transparent. So it looks something like this. All right. And then for this one, I'm just going to reduce the size. Okay. And I'm going to place it here. Okay. Exactly in the center and send this to back. So it looks something like this, but it does not look like a glass morphism design. So what I'm going to do is let me just select this one, press control D to duplicate. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge shape and I'm going to fragment it. Okay. The moment I fragment this shape, I don't need. I need this shape and this shape. Okay. So you can see here like this. So I don't need this also. I'm just going to delete this part and I'm going to put exactly here like this. Okay. Just make sure that there should not be any gap or you can just zoom and check. All right. So this is perfect. Then this one. I'm going to place it here okay but it doesn't look like for the as a, a shadow or a graded color uh, so I'm just going to increase the size okay and then whatever the color you want blue or whatever color you can just choose okay and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size can you see here okay once this is done it looks something like this and send this to back okay and if you want to reduce the size a little bit reduce it and let me just select this one and put it like this okay so you can see here it looks like uh, as if it is a uh, a blur color at the back side okay once this is done you can add multiple options so before that one go to insert text box and i'm going to type 01 or a b c d or whatever you want make it bold increase the size make it white font and bring it here all right and then i'm going to insert some text box here where you can add the title okay again white font make it bold and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text within bracket lorem okay again this also white text so i don't want this much la large text so i'm just going to delete the unwanted and put it here reduce the font size 
and align it properly and this one you could give some gray color okay you can see here so let me just select all press ctrl g to group it move it here hold the ctrl shift key this is the second design third design and the fourth option you can see here and you can give some select the options and go to the shape format rotate sorry align make it distribute horizontally all right and make it in the center so this one is two now this is three and this is four all right so you can see here easily you can do that one if you want to change the color to some other color you can just come here and you can just choose any color of your choice okay so for this also i can choose the same color it looks like this so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the options or change the colors according to your requirement 